In the words of the Tim the Toolman Taylor, what I have to say about the Can-Am XT is, Arr! man, this thing is a beast. So let's take it out and show you all the things it can do and all the fun features it has. I've got one word for the, for the Can-Am 800, and that is smooth. You're not getting tossed around. You're not taking a lot of shock to your arm. I don't know, the older I get, the more I enjoy this type of a machine. It would really excel in any kind of rough terrain, mountains, hill climbing, all of that kind of stuff. It's not going to be a dune special, but it's definitely a mountain machine. The first thing is the new 800R motor. It's 9% more power than last year, so it's 70 horsepower in this machine. So it gives it plenty of power to climb any hill you want to go up. And also with the transmission that's in this, you can go down as slow as you really want to go. It really holds that engine back and brakes really well. And being this is a max version, is you get the double up position. You have a backrest for your passenger. You actually have this little up area here to keep them from sliding forward. And also it provides lumbar support for your driver. Now this thing pops off really easily. You can take that and throw that in the truck somewhere. And it also comes with this cool little tray that snaps in place of it. And that's nice for like a tool kit, your lunch, whatever. That's a nice little box to be able to put back when you're riding by yourself. Now this is an XT package, so it comes with a lot of cool extra features such as this nice large uh, rear bumper on it. It also has one on the front. And it, you get a uh, 3,000 pound worn winch in case you know, you need to suck your neighbor's truck out of a ditch or something. Now, one of the things back here on the suspension that I want to point out was this TTI suspension on it. And basically, the way it works is that the pivot point is in front of the tire. So when the tire hinges up, it hinges straight up instead of cambering into the machine. What that does is it, it takes a lot of the torque steering out of the machine and makes it ride a lot smoother and be able to climb over those rocks a lot cleaner. Now one thing they've also done here is instead of having the brakes out here at the wheels, they've moved it up and put it on the drive line. And what that does is it reduces the rotating mass out here at your wheels, plus the brakes can work a lot better when it grabs that drive line instead of having to deal with the suspension as part of uh, its braking system. A couple of nice things on the XT package as well are these really nice aluminum wheels and an upgraded really aggressive tire both on the front and the rear. Uh, and one thing I didn't talk about before were these really nice hand holds for your passenger. You know, normally your passenger is hanging on for dear life and they don't have a very good place to hold on to. These are rubberized and uh, gives them several positions to be able to hang on to. It's very nice. Uh, as you come to the front up here, they've gone to a few extra things. Again, they've moved the brake rotors into the differential instead of being out here at the wheel. So it makes it a lot easier for it to grab and slow down and not have to fight the suspension. Now, on this 800, they've also gone to a double A-arm front uh, suspension on it to make it a little tougher and, and be able to really take those bumps a lot better. Right here is something interesting, is this is actually the air box. You can remove this. This is your air intakes are right here, and your filter's right underneath here. One thing this does for you is, it, A, it keeps it out of the dirt more, and the second thing is, is if you're crossing creeks or whatever, you're not going to have to worry unless you've got water up to your waist about getting water in your intake. Now up here on the controls, uh, one thing is, is on the front brake, when you apply the front brake, it applies 40 or 60% of the braking to the front wheels and 40% of the braking to the rear wheels. And that makes sure so that you brake in a straight line instead of having the front or the back end swing around on you. So it's a lot, lot smoother control. Now also up here we have a 12 volt receptacle. So if you need to plug in your phone or uh, you know, your iPod or something like that, and we also have a very nice digital gauge. You've got RPMs, trip meters, speed, and a real nice fuel gauge on it. So very easy to see and read. Um, you also have built-in hand guards and your switch from your two-wheel drive to your four-wheel drive. Well, I want to get back to riding this thing, so you need to check one of these out at High Adventure Power Sports. They're at 1846 South, 5070 West. Now, I know it's a long ways out there, but get out there. They have got a great showroom, and they're great guys, so get out there and check one out and take it for a ride. I'm Darren Kinder. I'll see you next time.